This is Dr. Steve. Feel inspired. This show is going to change your life. Feel connected. Feel better. Feel better is not just a slogan for the show. It's actually a challenge, a mission, and a promise from me to you to help you live a healthier life. This is Dr. Steve. Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Salvatore. Thanks so much for joining me today. We're going to feel a lot better and be a lot smarter after today's show. Up front, smoking hookah with friends in bars and at home is fast becoming trendy and sexy, but it comes at a price. I don't know, I like the flavor and it's relaxing. I, it's a social thing to do. Well, that about sums it up for Fiona Cook, a 20-something sitting with friends smoking hookah in a bar in the East Village. I smoke too. I smoke for years. I enjoy it. It's good. It's, it's a part of culture. As part of his culture, the owner is from Afghanistan. More and more, it's a part of American culture too. The hookah bars dot the East Village in Manhattan and Williamsburg in Brooklyn and Steinway Street in Queens. In them, you'll find the ornate glass and metal water pipes. They're used for smoking an aromatic blend of tobacco, molasses, and fruit known as shisha. The big question, is it safe? We're alarmed by the growing trend, uh, and, and we want to make sure that people know that smoking uh, hookah is, is not healthy. You're not filtered. You don't know what exactly is in the substance without having a filter. You don't know what you're inhaling often contaminated. You find toxic products in them, um, and so this is very risky. With a typical hookah session lasting about an hour and people taking long, deep breaths on the pipe, experts say it's really the equivalent of smoking about 100 cigarettes. In fact, hookah smoke has tar, heavy metals, and cancer-causing chemicals. And tobacco in the hookah is heated with charcoal, leading to dangerous levels of carbon monoxide. The fact is, inhaling Taking a, a item such as shisha, lighting it, and inhaling it into your lungs is just not healthy. It's linked to the same kinds of things that cigarettes are. And like cigarette smoking, studies show smoking hookah can cause lung, oral, and bladder cancer, as well as clogged arteries, heart disease, and problems with pregnancy. But what if the shisha they put in the pipe is tea and not tobacco? We know that this isn't just tea. It's a harmful substance which has been linked to cancer. Now, everyone now knows that cigarettes are addicting and hazardous to your health. And as you can see, that same alarm is now being raised about hookah.